All right, she's leaking some coolant. We got drips that came out from this part of the car. And that's right about where that radiator hose is. And that radiator hose looks like it might have some coolant on it. Um, but we also have some coolant here. And it looks like this up here is just a little wet too. Or it's that intake manifold. And I don't, I mean, it would be the upper intake in this case, which is not terribly hard to do. Um, it's either leaking out of the corner of that intake or somewhere else. Uh, but looking down in here, and I, I don't know, I think the main leak's probably that hose. So we'll go ahead and fill the system up and we'll pressurize it and we'll see where she's leaking. I'll take this radiator cap off and we'll see if she's full. The overflow bottle is not completely empty, so it depends on if it's flowing or not. Radiator cap's really being difficult. She is full of coolant in the radiator, so we'll go ahead and just pressurize her and see where she's leaking at. I think if I remember it, you gotta pull something off to put this on on these. I don't know. Let's see. Um, which one does it take? Not that one. It takes the one that threads on. This one. sure it goes on here there we go we'll screw that down good and tight and we'll take our hose put that on here Put it on here. And now we'll pump her up. about 15 or 16 pounds there and now we're just gonna look around and see if we can see where she's leaking I just don't see an active leak going on here but she definitely has been leaking there's great there's red crusties around here but I think maybe that's not the main leak So I'm just gonna look for the leak and I'll bring it back when I find it. All right, so it's leaking. It's by that upper radiator hose, but I don't feel anything wet on the upper radiator hose. It looks like it might be coming from that timing cover. So we're gonna have to go ahead and pull this coil pack mount off. Into 
Oh, come on. Really? There we go. Now I can see down in there and see what's leaking. Okay, I'm gonna try to show this to you if I can get to it here and get it on the phone. I don't know if I can. Right there is the coolant drip. See it dripping? I'll try to get it in here if I can. I think. Yeah, that's it. I can see it. It's right there on the bottom of that timing cover bolt. Um, so that's a timing cover gasket. But what I'm gonna try to do is just give that bolt a little snug and see if it stops. All right, folks, so I got down here, I, I sprayed this all down with brake clean and cleaned it up really well and took this motor mount off just to, so I could see clearly. And I tightened up the timing bolt and she does not appear to be leaking anymore. It was pretty tight, but I went ahead and gave her an extra snug. So I don't think that's leaking. I've got the system under pressure, I'm testing that. The, uh, the leak that was right here was from this bleeder. It was a little bit not real snug. I snugged that up with my vice grips and it appears like it is holding pressure now. Maybe it's just a little lower after like five minutes, but we're going to go ahead and give it some more time and see where she is. She's just above that black line right now. So we're just going to keep on seeing if, you know, that timing cover might have to be her place. That's a pretty big expensive job to do. I mean, it's not terrible on these, but it's, you know, you got pull the dry shaft pulley all that stuff off pull this out and then you gotta the the oil pan you have to break that seal with the oil pan put more silicone on it a lot of times the oil pans will leak a little afterwards so we'd rather not have to do that and on these if they have a timing cover leak you really want to sell a new timing cover because uh, they get corrosion and the, the coolant eats into the aluminum. And you'll probably need a new timing cover with the new gasket. But we'll see. I'll go ahead and just wait on it here and keep look, keep watching it and see what it does. Alright, so I've waited about another five minutes. She has not dropped at all. She's still just on that side of that black line. I look down there, there's no drips. I think this cooling system is good. Um, I'm just gonna let them drive it for a while. And if it does develop a leak there again, we're gonna have to do a timing cover, but hopefully, hopefully not. Um, I think I did do a timing cover on this once years and years ago. I did the gasket and I reused the timing cover. Since then I've done some more and I don't reuse the timing covers anymore. So, um, it might need done again and we'll have to get a new timing cover. So, now all I really got to do is look at the brakes and see what those are like. Um, I'll probably just do that tomorrow. I'll back it out to the driveway. I'll go ahead and put this engine back together, put the motor mount back in and stuff. And then, uh, we're just about done with this one for now so um, i'll see what the brakes need and they get that stuff ordered and give them the car back in the meantime all right i'll talk to y'all later this is tom your frugal prepper